Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to implement backend pagination using Spring Boot Paging and Sorting Repository. So if you have not watched our front-end pagination related video, then it is must watch then only this video you can understand easily so go and watch the link is available in the description. Before going further let's quickly demo whatever we implemented till now. See in case of user list we implemented front-end pagination as you can see here 75 records we are showing in 15 pages. I will demo you how this pagination is working here. So using first previous next or last you can navigate. And there is a small text box we created so using that you can directly enter the page number. I hope this is clear for you because similar kind of pagination we are going to implement for book list also. The only difference is here we are loading all 75 records at a time. But in case of back-end pagination we will load only 5 records at a time. So here you can see only one record is there. So I am not going to add record one by one. I will show what am I going to do. Let's open application class. So if you are following our videos, then one record we are inserting into the database using this command line runner run method. Just make it simple. Let's create a for loop and iterate it to 1000 times and save 1000 records. Don't worry it is simple. And to make a difference in records let's append a value in the title author and add i value at the price. That's it. Let's run again. Server started. See now 1000 records are loading at a time. Let's scroll till the end. See here browser also not working as expected. So that's the problem with the huge data. Here you can see the last record is 999. So instead of showing all 1000 record in one slot, we will implement the pagination. But before that open readme file. See here is the URL. Let's open in the browser. See this is the JSON data which we are displaying in grid using React.js. To implement backend pagination Spring Boot provides paging and sorting repository which will help us to achieve this. Let's open book repository file. See here we are implementing JPA repository so instead of this we are going to use paging and sorting repository. Let's modify the import as well. Ok so this is done. Now let's open service related interface and class. So here we are going to modify find all method. So here you can see we are returning collection so instead of collection we will use page and we need to pass pageable also as a method parameter. Add required imports also. Stop the server. Now open book service implementation class. Modify the find all method, add similar changes. Pass this pageable to find all method also, add required imports also. Now let's open resource related interface and class. Here also replace collection to page and pass pageable as a method parameter. Add required imports also. Now open book resource implementation class. Here also replace collection to page and pass pageable as a method parameter. Add required imports also. That's it. Let's start the server. Oops not starting means we missed something. Open book repository interface. 
here we need to remove JPA also. Open book service implementation class. So here save and flush will not work because repository was changes and change save and flush to save. That's it. Now start again the server. See server started successfully. I will show how we can do that. Now let's refresh this URL. See here now only loading 20 records and in JSON pageable object also is coming. See here are some of the keys of a pageable object like page size. See if URL is simple then by default it query for 20 records. See here are the pageable object keys and values. Let's see now instead of 20 I want only 5 records at a time and not only first page and I can see directly 5 records of page 99. I will show how we can do that. Let's copy this URL. So now along with that, we need to append query string also. So here is the query string, like page number and size. So here I mention page number 0 and size 5. See first 5 records are coming. And if we change the page number then also the content is changing. Let's change the size from 5 to 15. See 15 records loading now. Let's change the size from 15 to 10. See 10 records loading now. Let's change the page number from 5 to 45. See it is working. I hope this is clear for you. So after added pagination related changes, let's check now book list link is working or not. See it is not working, giving an error like a map is not a function. The reason behind this error is like previously response is coming directly. But now it is coming as content and along with that pageable object also is coming. Let's see how to fix this error. So this map function is not identifying. See here is the flow. So from component did mount method find all books method is calling. And here still we are keeping the old URL. Let's replace this URL with pagination URL. And now we can not use data directly so after data we need to use the content as well. Let's check now, is it working or not? Refresh the page. See now data is coming, it is fetching only 10 records from 0 to 9. Let's change the size from 10 to 5. See only 5 records are fetching now. Now let's add pagination related logic. So here after books let's add one more state variable like books per page. Initialize this with 5. Now use this state variable inside this URL. See now size variable is dynamic. Add one more variable for the current page. And initialize this with 1. Use this as well inside the URL. I hope this is clear for you. See it is working but only thing is, it is showing the second page, instead of first. Because in pageable index starts from 0. Instead of using directly will pass the current page as part of this method parameter. Now we don't want the second page at the beginning so let's reduce one from current page. Now it is coming correctly. So here along with content let's add some more keys and values as part of this response. Here you can see so many things are coming. So we are not going to use all but let's use some like total elements, total pages, number and size. Let's see how to use these. See it is very simple. So here only I am modifying current page also with data dot number. Here I am adding one because during execution of find all books method we are reducing one from current page. Now let's add pagination related code. So open user list file. First, let's copy this imports.
Now let's copy this page CSS, now I am just copying later we will move this CSS to the proper file. Now let's copy card footer code also. Replace this user with books, leave everything as it is. That's why in beginning I said like if you haven't watched front end pagination video then please watch it. Here we need to copy only this first line because in book list there is no concept related to first or last index because we are getting paginate data using paging and sorting repository. Change the users to books and users per page to books per page. Now here we don't need to add this, so remove it. Now we need to add click event code for first, previous, next and last. So copy that code also. So here you can see we are changing the current page value based on the type of button click. But now the scenario is different. So first add other simple changes then I will show you how to modify this. Change users to books per page. And instead of user.length now change it to total elements. We are using the same code two places, so better create a new variable. Now this is perfect. Replace here also. Add other bootstrap imports also. See like here when first time page loads then we are calling find all books method same way we will this method even when you click on any pagination related button. So if it is the first page then we will pass one in find all books method. So if this is clear for you then another method changes also you can understand easily. Let's create a variable for one. So first page button event is done. Now let's modify the previous page. Here also changes are similar to the first page. That's it for the previous page, now let's add changes for the last page. See it is simple. Now let's add changes for next page. So all for method code changes are done. Here I modified books per page but as must be total pages. See here I am using total pages, most of the changes are done so let's test changes are working or not. See pagination is showing properly, the number also showing perfect. Let's click on the next button, see it is working, let's click on next button multiple times. See previous also working, first also working, last also working. Only thing is I forgot to add changes for this text box. Let's add change page method also. Let's copy this method. Here also we need to modify code, don't worry it is simple. That's it, let's try now. See it is working as expected. Let's review whatever we added till now. 
In future instead of this kind of pagination, we will create infinite scroll pagination. I hope you understood whatever I tried to implement in this video. Let's modify the first record. See it is working. Now let's modify 50th record. See it is working. See here is the updated value. I checked in my changes. I will show you from where you can find these changes. Let's open our GitHub page. Click on the repositories. See here are the changes. I hope you learned something from this video, if yes then please add some nice comment. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.